everybody. Thank you for joining us for our gnome do-it-yourself workshop today. This is Jeannie. She'll be building one for the first time with us. And yeah, let's get to it. We'll just let you guys know what supplies we need first. So we need a four inch pot, a bundle of cedar that you can get usually at a superstore. You can ask your local florist as well. And also you're gonna need your sink filled with water and you're gonna need a brick of oasis. And when you're gonna soak it, you're gonna wanna put it in and let it drop to the bottom. And when it's, when it's all sunk, it's ready to rock. So I'm gonna let that soak while we're telling you what else we need. We're also gonna need clippers. And we're gonna need a hat. Oh, a cone. Um, if you don't have a cone, we'll show you some other options. Um, but there's a couple different ways, but this is just to hold the hat. And then you need a little pair of mitts. Jeannie was saying actually it'd be really cute if you had some saved ones from your like baby from, yeah. and then you can they use don't those. Fit anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's super cute and sentimental. Then you're gonna need some wire to put the gloves on with. I use the thick stuff, but you can use the thin stuff as well. And a carnation for the notes. And if you don't have a carnation, you could use like a button or a pom pom or something like that too. Oh, just be creative with it, but we're just using a carnation. And a knife to cut up your foam with. So my foam is all ready to rock and the ones we get is by Oasis and it has like a line to divide it into three so we're gonna cut it on that line. If yours is a plain brick you can feel free to cut it into thirds as well and I'll just show you why. When you cut it into a third it fits really nicely into your four inch pot and just push it kind of forcefully right into there and then you can do that again with another one just stack it right on top. Right on top of it. And then I'm going to do one more half. So you're going to use almost the whole brick and just place that right on top as well. I'll get that out of the way and my knife goes away. And then you're going to go and grab one of your large pieces of cedar because you're going to want to cut off all the little branches and keep the big branch to place in the middle to hold all these bones together. So you're going to want to take all of these little pieces off and you're going to want like, the thicker one. And hang on to these because that's what we're going to be doing in the yeah. Magic of television. Ta-da! <laughs> so I'm a step ahead here, but you can see about how high from the oasis that you're going to want the, yeah. the top of there. I'm going to cut mine right here and then just forcefully right in the middle. You might get a little bit of water, so maybe do this somewhere that's water safe because mine's coming out of that soap foam. Perfect. And then you're going to grab your cone. And then it depends what kind of hat you have. You could have the really long ones, but this cone's kind of shorter, so I'm going to just fit it in there kind of tightly. And I'll show you if you don't have um, a cone. Yeah, because most people Yeah, so we'll just stuff this one. I'll just use it like this. Weird flyer. Ah. Anyway, get the drip here. So we can kind of make my fit. Here's that. Maybe I'm gonna take like an inch off. This might have to cut your stick down a bit, but exactly. No, that works good. Okay. And if you don't have that, you can also use like a poster board or something uh, rolled into a cone shape. Or the styrofoam foam. Yeah. Like Michael sells that stuff. Yeah. You're coming up with all kinds of good options uh -huh. here. But like this, we found it at the dollar store. It's an empty cone, dollar twenty-five. Works good. Just careful. There's all different sizes. You can make a bigger though. Okay, well, first step you can see what Jeannie's done here is you're gonna cut off all of these little guys. And if you don't have a lot of greenery, you can start at the top and kind of keep it more thin. But we like ours nice and fat. So we're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna cut it. And you're gonna poke it in on the second brick and just have it flowing down. I like to keep mine 
a little bit shorter at the bottom so you can see that pot. Oh, I did not do that. And that's okay, because yours <laughs> can be like the thing on Adam's family. Adam's family, yeah, it'll be cousin A. It'll be fun. Oh, cousin A. I said it's like, like that. You said thing again. I haven't seen Adam's family since I was a kid. I know there's a new one out, but I have not seen it. So. My kids are obsessed with that movie, so we've seen it quite a bit recently. have to watch it. We were gonna watch uh, Wreck-It Ralph last night because my kids are big now, right? So we yeah. don't watch all that stuff anymore. But we did not. We ended up watching Pleasant Ball. Not that you guys need to know that, but it's a good <laughs> classic movie. It is a good classic movie. Yeah, I good. haven't seen that one in a really long time. My daughter's like, which is the one where they like start out in black and white and then they like kiss her and then it turns into color? I'm like, Pleasant Ball. You know what? The old movies are the greatest. My kids are really into um, like the old Bug like, Bunnies right now. Like they think they're hilarious. It's really fun because it's it's all stuff from my childhood that I get to watch with them now. It's totally, really cool. And you said they were watching in or listening to NSYNC and stuff too, right? Yeah. Hey guys. Hey puppy. We're just doing a YouTube video here for our gnome. We get some visitors. This is opening hours right now, so that's why if the phone rings or something, just bear with us, guys. Sure. And Thank you. We just paused it for a sec because we had a couple customers come in. So back at greening, yeah, just poke it in the bottom layer. And this is what my bottom layer looks like so far. And then I'm just going to go up about an inch and do that all again. This is a super easy one actually, like it'd be a really good one to do with your children. I'll make you some like this. Yeah. Well, now you know how to do it. You now can do it again. Oh. Well, you'll be doing lots of <laughs> <laughs> And if you do have kids that are doing them, um, you'll want to just check for that too because you don't want to get them quite too much. But I think it's just a different type of cedar too. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually allergic to cedar. I get polka dotty from it. Uh, by the end of the night, it goes away. It's nothing too serious on myself. But maybe just check with the kids or get them some little rubber gloves or for yourself because it is quite itchy. There's the sap in it. But a lot of people, it doesn't even phase them, but me, it does. And the funny thing is, is I work with it like every day, so. Especially right now. Yeah. I have this good cream I put on at night and then it feels all good in the morning and then we do it all again. <laughs> so again, these guys are kind of long unless you have less. So I'm still cutting mine down. And just when you're done that layer, just go up about an inch and lay it down again. Just gives you a little bit of a fatter gnome. If you want a skinny gnome, just do less. I'm totally doing a big fat gnome. That's good. That's, <laughs> so you go up about an inch, you said, right? Yeah. So like here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I should have done it here. So here. Yeah. Okay. And you guys can forge this around even your house if you guys have some cedar. Or I just want to show you guys pine too. I'm just going to get a piece of it. I don't normally use it in my gnomes. But it would look really pretty too. Yeah, there's no reason you couldn't use pine in there as well just to dress him up. You know, I want another piece to make it balanced. <laughs> oh, it's, I feel like little ears. I almost went to him too now. You want them? <laughs> They're super cute. Oh, see. So, yeah, if you're outside and you see some cool stuff you want to add to his hair and beard, then go for it. Again, it's super fun to go out with the kids and find some stuff and then make a little guy for your house. My sister did big outdoor ones, but she used like the cage for tomatoes or whatever. And then you can just wire it on, put on a hat. You don't need a pot even for that because the bottom, I think, upside down, it just goes right to the to the ground there. That's such a good idea. Yeah, she turned out so beautiful. Um, bigger hat totally might do that. Yeah. What would you use for a hat like that? You have to find like an oversized or yeah, just like that or something. Yeah. yeah. But once you had it. Yeah. Now I've got ideas for my front door. I'm getting totally. super excited. And then you wouldn't need all the foam and stuff either, but if you wanted to do a giant one outside, you just need a bigger pot and way more oasis and way more green, so way we go. It'd be more cost efficient the other way. And probably not a flower for outside, maybe a 
a pom pom or, or a an or ornament or, or something. Yeah, that would be super cute. This ornament would be cute on this guy too. Actually. It would like a little ornament. See, look at all the ideas. I'm like using a lot of. I'm maybe I'm using too much cedar. I, I think it, I think it looks good. And up here, the hat's here anyway, so you can go a little more thinner up there. You just need to make sure you're covering all that foam for when your hat goes on. See, my hat was a little long, so I just put it inside. I know I told you guys that, but, and then just see how far you need it. Like mine could be almost done. You see a little bit left there. See mine, I got just that part. Yeah. And the important thing about this too, is about once a week, even bi-weekly, if you just take his hat off, I just put mine right in the kitchen sink and run the water on it. So they all get a nice good drink and then let it kind of drain out and dry off and then put it back on your table or wherever it is. Because this foam actually holds a lot of water for once the cedar's cut in there. It's gonna still need some drinks. sturdiness right you can go right up to the foam I'm gonna cheat and just go to like right here I'm well, not cheap but like you can go all the way up here if you wanted to put more oasis no one's gonna see that and then we can see when the foam needs to have a drink Okay, so I've got 
got my hat on. They're so fun. I have to keep my kids away from them. They're gonna just be like, if you so guys, much fun. Yeah, totally. If you guys noticed, we paused a couple times. The phone rang once and a couple people walked in a couple times. So just a heads up, um, it's opening hour. So you can enjoy our charm visitors as well. <laughs> okay, so next step is you're gonna grab your wire. Again, I'm using like the thicker wire. You can use thinner. And you're gonna find your little glove. We're almost done our normal already, so it's pretty quick. And I just kinda poke it right through the glove. Like through both layers? Yeah. Okay. And then kinda fold it over like this, just so it's the front isn't showing the wire. And then the wire is gonna stab right into the oasis just like your greenery did. Be forceful with it. And then your little glove, will, you can put it under a bit or lower a bit. Or off to the side more. Yeah, just so those arms are kind of like out. Make it a girl and like add like girly things to it too or like braids or something or something fun. Right? Or if you did the head all the way up to the top and greened it, you could put like a, a hair band and be like a unicorn or something. Oh, cool. I've never so done that. Yeah, they're just running through my head now. We'll have to we'll do like a thing. unicorn next year. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be next year. <laughs> next year, it's not this year. Okay, next year. and this guy I'm just gonna poke right on opposite side. I think that's even. Sometimes we tuck them right under the hat. You can. I'm just gonna. Very, very last step is you're gonna get your flower. I like to fluff mine out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cut it kind of shorter. And just put it right in the middle. Ah, I love them. There's my home. I got mine so in the middle I had a cedar branch in the middle. <laughs> oh, I bet. And mine was just in the middle. There you have it. I hope yeah. everybody had fun making their gnomes. And thank you so much for watching and joining us. I appreciate it. And if you like, you can send us pictures what you made. That would be super awesome. Okay, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.